Hello and welcome back to Heroes Chronicles The World Tree. You know, on this main title here, you can clearly see that the light coming from the top is not blue in the slightest. <laughs> and neither are the uh, sun rays there. So, either it's another inconsistency, as with all of these troops that are totally not necromancers, or there's something we don't know yet. So, let's find out. <laughs> oh? Wait, how is... what? Why is the lost condition here lose all your towns and heroes, and here it's lose hero? I mean, you still lose everything if Tarnum dies, so... what it gives. Hmm. Well, whatever. Also, I only have one enemy, and it's... Blue? Did we fight blue? Or did we fight red? Hmm, I don't actually remember. Well, anyway... Next turn. And this is another smallish map. Pretty... Uh, disappointing. I like large maps because you can do a lot of things in large maps. And in small maps you're forced to rush for troops because there's just not enough space for you to explore. <sighs> oh well. Okay, so who is going where? Okay, so Gondola is taking things. Well, I don't need gold per se right now. Have this. Okay, so I want to deal with the Ogre Mage and also with the Wolf Raiders. Wolf Raiders are kind of uh, more important. The Ogre Mage, though, I would definitely like to deal with them. Also, Wolf Pen. If I go that way. Something else if I go that way. And I definitely want to see a bit more of what's going on around there. Right, so that means Tarnum is going this way. A Gurnison needs to trade with Tarnum. Okay. So we get the Ballista. Then, well, he might as well take experience. Tarnum can go forward, although I would prefer if Gundola managed to trade with him. It doesn't seem like it will be the case. Okay, so Gurnison, you need to go back to the town. Dilla, you can go that way and see what is up. Then, in the town. Hmm. I do need more troops. But the gold supply can run out very soon. I don't deal with the ogres. I need a wolf pen. Yeah. I do have some troops here. But Gerson. Actually, wait a minute. Maybe he can still trade with Tarnum. And that will be good because the more troops I take into battle, the less casualties I will have. Which means more troops to fight in the next battle. Okay, so can you trade? Yes, you can. Nice. So around 100 goblins. Pretty good. Only 11 orcs, though. And these guys are a pack. Well, that will probably be a fairly close fight. And that means I want Tarnum to rest after this battle. 
Especially since these guys are kind of annoying. They attack two times. And they paused. Well, I'm not going to attack them this turn, so curse first. Well, waiting won't really do me much good. I generally want everyone to go near my orcs, so that they get better uh, damage. do I deal with this in the most efficient way? They cannot get to us in this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they can only get to here, but they will be able to go anywhere next turn and they start first. So... Ideally, I would like them to not pile on my uh, on my troops, which I think I can have. Yeah, I can. Okay, you can go here. You can go there. Might as well shoot now. Oh wow, not bad. Uh, but the wolf riders are in my way. However, I may be able to use this to lure these guys down. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. So you can go there and be a nice bait. And now the enemy won't be able to attack those guys both at the same time. And wow, did they really take this bait so much? That is hilarious. I am definitely not going to say no to that. defend. They can't do anything to me. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah, what are you going to do to me? Attack. Oh, man. Attack another time. Oh, man. You're not doing anything. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that was good. And now we have ore. Okay, so these guys. Yeah, I need to go and have Tarnum sleep for a bit. Hmm. More story. We have settled in a stronghold that used to be occupied by my enemy. I lost too many of my troops conquering it, but now we have a keep of our own down here. And this oddly fertile soil accepts seeds amazingly well. In just a matter of days, wheat and vegetables spring from the ground. Food will not be a problem, which is fortunate since my supply lines have been cut by a necromancer force that managed to sneak behind me. Now I must continue the search for the world tree. I know it is near. I can feel it. Hmm. I wonder how this actually works. We still don't really know uh, the nature of the World Tree and what the World Tree is in general. So maybe all of those seeds are growing because of magic. Maybe. Or maybe there's technology involved. Who knows? 
Alright, uh, you need to rest and also split these guys. Hmm, a cliff nest. Yeah, I need that. In that case, I probably don't need to split things. Okay, so... Buy three of these guys. There are seven, there are six. Okay, looks about right. Though I would prefer the goblins to be near my orcs. Yeah. Six, yeah, that's exactly how I want it. Alright. Huh. And I actually, before starting this, I set the affinity to the correct course. So I have no idea how this happened. Well, uh, one second. No, I don't have any way to set the affinity, but whatever, it doesn't work anyway, it seems. Alright, so rebuy the cliff nest, rebuy the rocks. Good. Okay, so these guys don't really have much to do. Oh, a water wheel. Interesting. Day four, so Gurnison might as well just get to the Goblin Barracks. Hmm, I'm not actually sure where I should proceed. There are three ways in. Generally, it's best to go wherever it's weakest in terms of defense. And these guys are both the same. It's very fancy here, though, because there is an underground river flowing, and there is just a passage. So I probably will want to go that way after this. Not much else I can do. And uh, there is that gold shortage. And also wood shortage. And ore sh shortage as well. Well, that means I can't do much else other than to start building up the economy. Alright, uh, let's tag those ogres. Oh! I forgot, there is no mages go here, so Tarnum didn't actually get a rest. Well, I'll just have to make do with what we have. And admittedly, it's not that low in terms of spell points. We only spend four and five for our spells. Okay, so first of all, let's wait around a bit. Get into defensive formation. So they move 5, and goblins move 5 as well, so there is no way to position them in a way that works the best. 
let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is a good spot to be in. Alright. Get double damage against these guys. So about these, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so they can attack something that is here, because that place is also safe. I don't want to engage them right now, but I definitely want to cast a curse. It should last enough. And now, before attacking, enemies, I will cast uh, Bloodlust. Okay, those guys are down. That looks like a trap. Okay, so let's see if my goblins go and attack these guys first. And let's say they kill them. Will they be able to attack? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, so it is a trap. It's a trap! But what can I do about it? Well, I guess. defend. Yeah, and then they have no choice but to move. Oh! Hmm. Now that is very unfortunate as well. I would prefer this goblin to tag this guy. Or that guy, but there's another stack of goblins in the way, and attacking these ogre mages it doesn't have any point to that. So, defend in order to preserve integrity and not have my orcs attacked. Okay, so I think these guys are dead. And they are. These guys aren't, but that's the only thing I can attack. Well. Okay. They did not deal too much damage. Okay, 95. Might as well attack those. And then go back to these. Okay, no casualties at all. Quite surprising. Alright, now Tarnum. Huh. Well, the Sulphur Dune would be nice to have, but our town doesn't really require that much Sulphur and we already have 25, so I think I'll go that way. Only 10 spell points. Okay, you need to get this. And you can follow Tarnum and... Oh right, you have some goblins to give to Tarnum too. Totally forgot about that. Okay. Okay, the resource island would be nice to have. But gold takes precedence over wooden ore. So first of all, mage's gold. But these guys will be a bit of a problem because they're range troops.
Well, let's try anyway. Oh. <laughs> they don't even want to fight. Well, in that case, I don't want to fight them either. Oh. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I can deal with them. It's another pack of Ogre Major. This time in a slightly different formation. Doesn't change much, though. Alright, good. Those guys moved. Downwards, which means further away from my orcs. that happens. Oh, whoops, I forgot to curse them. That was probably a bad idea. Their speed is 4 and their speed is 5. Hmm. Okay, so now I can attack them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, they cannot do anything to me. Not sure if I want to tank those. They might actually have a chance at hitting the rocks. Or not, given their defense is not that bad. And they should take out only one. Bah. But there we go. Even saved a few spell points. And let's see what's over here. More Orc Chieftains. Oh! Dear! I did not expect that. And there's no way to get us now. Okay, so now I have a choice. Either go through here or through there. Okay, so this is only a pack. So this is a better choice. And it's day six. I'm a little concerned about Adar, the old shaman. Today, I noticed he was slumping in the cell, and his face appeared flushed. When I approached the elder, he straightened up, clenched his jaw. Are you alright? I said. Adar forced a smile. It's this horse, said Adar, rubbing the seat of his pants. It jolts around so much, I'm beginning to think one of his legs is shorter than the others. I laughed and moved on. So that guy's probably dying. <laughs> okay, um, yes, take this. 
Gems are also something I don't really require right now, but it's good to have for later. Okay, so the blacksmith. Okay, maybe that resource silo would not be that bad right now. should also leave things to Gondola. Although I'm not sure if this is exactly safe. Hmm. Okay, so there's an alchemist slab. I think I need crystal for all this? Yes. Uh, but I don't see any crystal mines anywhere. Can can you get there? Oh, you can even get there right now. Very good. And also explore up there a bit. Right. Vampire Lord, that's not good. If we are facing uh, necromancers. But now we get a city hall. And more goblins, and we need to get there and there. If these guys are out of the way, then I could very easily transport the troops up. Okay. Definitely need more orcs. Rocks are useful as well. Wolf riders and goblins. Okay, everything is purchasable. Sulfur. I don't need more sulfur. Mercury and the other Mercury and the wood. Altarnum goes to explore here. Oh, look at that. Our chieftains, our chieftains also packs. Oh, so that's the portal, and it's guarded by a pack of Thunderbirds. You do a good job at guarding that, please. Meanwhile, I will take over the, the side paths. The question is, which one do I go to? Hmm. Well, neither on this turn. Okay, I don't have the money for a resource at all. That's quite unfortunate. So I'll get the mess hall for additional goblins. Okay, I want Gondola to get there. Okay, so I don't really see anything here. Then might as well. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. I was hoping some of them would decide to join, and they did. I need to take these in order to move faster. Oh. Ogrefort. I would like to have it, but I would also need to have another ogre fort built in my town in order to make best use of it. Oh, 
let's see what's over there anyway. Experience. Oh, and a crystal mine. I see a crystal mine. So this is a pack. This is another pack. I might as well just attack the closest one. That's for Gondola. Well, he can be the person who speeds up the transfer to make some chaining here. The Ogre Captain, Grumba, leads a column of prisoners by my position. When one of the orcs recognizes me, he breaks the line to get close enough to spit on me. Grumba quickly pounds the orc to the ground, but still it struggles. You defy the ancestors! Traitor! The orc shouts. No, I say. You're the ones who are going against the ancestors. Vor is insane and he leads you astray. But the orc doesn't listen and soon all the prisoners scream. Traitor! It takes some time for Grumble to regain control and lead them away. I shake my head. They're so confused. Hmm. Okay, so they're not very enthusiastic about Tarnum fighting war. Alright, um... Gurnison, you need to take things. Hmm. Let's see, well... Gondola cannot actually trade during this turn. But he can go there to set up a chain. Okay, whether do I want to recruit all ogres or not? Depends on what money I have left. Okay, it's day three. I don't really need a citadel right away. Behemoth Slayer I cannot afford. The Cyclops Cave requires an Ogre Fort, and the Ogre Fort requires wood, and wood requires a resource silo. And I cannot get a capital before I get a castle. It's either a citadel or the resource silo. And I'd rather build the resource silo. And so I have not a whole lot of money available, but enough, so let's buy them. Riders. Except I don't have enough money. Pack of Orc Chieftains, Pack of Ogre Major. Yeah, of course. S stronger security on the Crystal Cavern. But hey, there's an Orc Tower here. So if I can get to that. Maybe even have these guys join me. I will have a much stronger army to go against these ogres. Okay. Uh, but that will be all for now. And I will see you all next time. Later.